All right, then. Another old one from 2021 this time, so not quite as old as the last. It's at least new enough that the uh, demo hasn't got a broken vortex ring, which was massive last time, but I fixed it. Uh, we have Wolf Snipe versus Ted. Ted hasn't played Duel in as long as I haven't played Duel. So that's how old that is for some people who uh, know the vague timing. We're on Final Rage. We have Broken Shit. And hopefully the bind thing that turns the... Yes, the decals are fading. Good. But the... Some bits are broken in some places. We have some lighting issues. I'm trying to fix them. I can't work out what the hell it is. We're off to a good start. This is a good map. I like Final Rage. This is incredibly good 2v2 map. Um... But stop voting it in like massive clan arena. One thing you will notice with Ted, uh, his his name pops around corners before he does. Really not the best thing he could have done, but he's going to pick up the first frag here with a nice little rocket in a um, in a bit of a long range of a rocket fight. It's going to give him a bit of control actually, as Wolf Snipe's going to have to run away for a bit. I think Ted was pretty high. Oh, so close to the mid air rocket. I don't know how much health Ted's got left. Fairly. Decent amount, actually. That was a good chunk, almost 60 damage. But Wolf Snipe's going to get in. Ted's going to pick up the Mega, but it looks like Ted's going to go down. That can sometimes be the problem. Uh, you just you pick up the Mega, and then you just get bounced around that Mega Spawn sometimes. It can also happen the other way, of course. It, uh, you go in for the Mega, don't take it, then get bounced around. But Ted, probably glad that uh, he managed to take the mega still because it did mean otherwise wolf snipe would have probably still killed him because of the positional uh, advantage that wolf snipe ended up with just in general but yeah this is a wolf snipe not going for any rails right now but ted gonna hit the net hit that beautiful rail to go up two to one ted a very uh very active clan arena player so has incredibly good aim but if i remember rightly around the time this demo was taken was kind of when he was uh just starting to get into duel which means that if you played a really a really tactical game which is the sort of game wolf snipe usually likes to play if you play a really tactical game you can definitely get major advantages but at the same time he has really good game sense that's not to say like his game sense is bad Get good game sense is just the the timing and some of the maps. I think he did play Final Rage a lot. Uh, he played with me quite a bit and I liked Final Rage. So, we probably played Final Rage a bit together. Um, it's a good... It's a good map. Final Rage is good. It's like very classic. It's very classic and it takes advantage of some of Xenotics. Just talk about Final Rage for a bit until something else happens. Kind of just a war of attrition and a bit of timing. As you can see, Ted not really on the timing. Wolf Snipe definitely is. Um, yeah, it's a classic game with mega armor, mega health. Each one has its own room. But at the same time, it brings in Xenotics. Uh, Xenotics incredible height. Like You can see that it's kind of that, that staircase picture the the fake staircase where the staircase never ends it's sort of got that vibe oh nice shot from wolf snipe switching over to the shotgun at the right time take the frag although i think he yeah he suicided there whoops wolf snipe is on the back foot but is he taken more oh, we can't see what uh ted's actually managed to pick up in terms of items but at this time no he's not he won't have taken more ted is actually picking up a lot of the mega armors that, I think, is the main thing. Ted seems to have forgotten about the Mega Health, but going for the Mega Armors. That's not too bad of a decision, really, because uh, Mega Health can just be taken down with pretty much one rocket. And you can usually get, like, a bit of splash damage at the time, and then just get one rocket in, and then it's done. But it's good, good play from both players, in terms of tactical positioning and stuff like that. But yeah, like I was saying, Ted got good aim set, uh, game sense and knowing where sort of you're going to be, where your opponent is, being able to hear people definitely uses that audio audio track to find out where people are going to be. But Wolf Snipe just knows the routes around this map very well. Able to predict Ted was going to come out of that corner. It's a classic place to go. Everybody goes for it. 
half the battle of actually aiming at people is just knowing where they're going to be. You know, the classic quote I love to go back to of, uh, I think it was Cypher. It was either Cypher or Cooler being asked when Quake Champions came out. So do you think you're too old to, um, to duel? Do you think your reaction times aren't good enough? And you just said, I'm not aiming where my opponent is. I'm aiming where my opponent will be. And no, no game... Very nice comeback. I think Wolf Snipe is now banging the comeback in. He's got control out of the whole map. But yeah, no more. No game is more like I'm aiming where my opponent will be than Xenotic, which is an incredibly heavily... Uh, it's, so there's not... Because there's no LG, no lightning gun, it's an incredibly non-hit scan game. Other than the rail, the vortex, it, it's a very... Um, What's the word? Projectile base. So you've got to aim in front of where your opponent will be. And with those controllable projectiles, it's not like you can get around tight corners with them, but you can sort of guide it a little bit. Which usually helps when you've just completely missed the doorway. You can, like, splat it onto the floor and get a bit of splash damage. But, you know, you are predicting where your opponent will be. And with grenades and stuff like that, you're... Uh, Oh, look at that. that. Again, just as I'm saying it, like I was just about to mention the fact that the, the shoot-through floors mechanic in this game. And Wolf Snipe demonstrates it perfectly, takes the tying up shot. It's a beautiful bit of gameplay. Ted had good control, but he's now he's lost that control. He doesn't seem to be able to pull it back. I think it's... Um, He's just scr he's scrummaging around for stuff, and Wolf Snipe's being able to take advantage. You can see here, it's a low-scoring game. Uh, Final Rage is a fairly high-fragging, very small map. When you know your way around it, it's a very small map, actually, uh, because of the teleporters and stuff like that. Like, we're, we're around a loop. Uh, hit the teleporter, it's only a few paces, a few seconds right the way around the map. But Wolf Snipe, the thing is, he's... Um, he's taken control of this entire map. And he's only engaging when he has to at the Megas. And he's going in and he's getting in there. And Ted's just coming to him. And that's the thing with Final Rage. You can't go to your opponent so much. It's a very, very difficult map to attack on unless you can catch your opponent off guard. Which, realistically, you can't just do. You can't just run through because this sort of thing will happen. And now Wolf Snipe has the high ground. Does take a lot of damage there, though. So it's definitely going, sort of going towards Ted's way. Not sure if Ted managed to pick up that um, that mega armor there. But I think I just heard it spawn. And there it is. It goes to Wolf Snipe. So Ted possibly doesn't have the timing at all on that. And just trying to guess when it's coming up. Not a bad plan, really, if you don't know when it's coming. Just guess. Hope it comes up when you turn up. And, uh, yeah. Wolf Snipe definitely taking advantage of that position. He's got with two minutes left. He's got a three frag lead. It's definitely not insurmountable. But it's whether Wolf Snipe's going to let Ted have anything for the next few minutes. Because if he just doesn't let Ted have a centimetre of space to get some stack, if he just keeps pushing, he doesn't have to get the frags necessarily. He just has to keep Ted from getting anything particular and getting a stack up very nice movement there using the cryolink's pull something you don't usually see because it does do a fair bit of damage you see it a lot in um ctf but less so much in jewel beautiful shot there no connection from wolf snipe with the necks He's trying to make the shots. He doesn't want to give up this position, though. Obviously, he's got the high ground, which is very good. Because it means it's difficult to land shots. A nice little bit of delay there. An interesting delay, considering he just literally looked straight on ahead. Uh, rather than looking around and waiting. But a little bit of delay never goes amiss. And... It looks like Wolf Snipe's going to be able to hold out. Ted going in for the push. Now playing the true clan arena smash play of attack, 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 attack. But Wolf Snipe's going to probably be able to hold this off. He has an incredibly good stack. He's managed to build up over the second half of this game. 
And I think Ted is resigned to second place right now. But it's been a very, very good game. Massacre comes out. Wolf Snipe actually getting 10 frags in a row at the end there. Uh, which is incredible considering he started the game with five frags to the deficit. But a great game played by both. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one of these, what I do. Cheers.